What's in the box? Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Who are you? My name is Tanisha LaGuardia, and I am the Lead Animal Ambassador Coordinator here at the Tennessee Aquarium. Awesome. So you're kind of just, just hanging out here at the table and just, just, walking, yeah. just waiting for me? or what? Well, what? I am waiting for you, but okay. I also have some friends coming over to meet you as well. Oh, I like to meet friends. Yeah, well, I will bring my first one out. How many of us have been? <laughs> Sorry. So what's in the box? All right. So something pretty neat that you don't really get to see every day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who is this? So this is our Madagascar spider tortoise. Okay. So these little tortoises are one of the smallest tortoises in the world, the smallest tortoise in Madagascar, and they're endemic to Madagascar, mm -hmm. which means that that's the only place you can find them. Mm -hmm. So why are they called spider tortoises? So as you look at her shell or her carapace, mm -hmm. you can see a lot of uh, different directions of the color pattern on there, and it kind of looks like a spider web. Oh, that yeah. is cool. So they yeah. made it easy for us, the scientists, to kind of know what she is instead of those big, long words. Um, do we? Do you know how, how old she is approximately? So here at the Tennessee Aquarium, she's about 12 years old, but they can live to be over 70 years old. Yeah. Wow. Yes, but one thing about them, you see how small she is. So she doesn't have very many eggs at a time. She only lays one egg. Mm -hmm. And so that egg incubates for almost a year. And so that kind of puts them a little bit critically endangered because of deforestation, uh, people taking them in for pets and things like that. And so because they only have one egg at a time and that egg takes so long to hatch, it's hard for them to get their population back up. One egg at a time. Now, is, is that something that's normal for a turtle or a tortoise? It's not. Most of, the, most of the time, tortoises or turtles have eggs about at least 15 to 20 different eggs. Um, but for them, it's just one. So that makes it a little hard to keep that population up. Oh, this little tortoise here, she is a program animal. What does that mean? Yes. So these are our ambassadors and these are just the animals that goes out into the world, whether it's schools or libraries or just here at the Tennessee Aquarium. They come out and educate and we talked about them, talk about what they do, talk about their population and if they're endangered or anything like that. So they just help us bring um, attention to the world to be able to let them know what these animals are because it's not every day that you get to see a spider tortoise. Right. Yeah. I don't think I actually, I had ever seen a spider tortoise in, until today. So I saw you had another another box over there. Was, yeah. was What was going on over there with that one? Okay, well, I'll put her to the side for just a minute and we'll bring out our other little friend. This is a wood turtle. This one's native to North America, mostly on the east side of North America. You can find them a lot in Virginia and all the way up into Canada and Nova Scotia area as well. A it's wood turtle. A wood turtle. I don't think I've ever heard of a wood turtle before, even though I've lived here my entire life in North America. I haven't gone anywhere. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I've never heard of one before. They're really neat because the shell actually does look like wood. Yeah, it mean, blends in with the wood chips. It that, does. That, yeah. So, obviously, that's how she protects herself. Um, she's kind of a smaller turtle, so she needs to be able to be able to camouflage and not be seen by predators. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, she lives on land, but whenever it gets a little colder outside, more in the winter, late fall time, um, she lives more in the water. And it's easy for her to be able to find prey or food and all that good stuff for her as that's, well. That's interesting. I feel like a lot of people might uh, be slightly confused. Not not me at all. Right. I'm not confused at all. But <laughs> so they prefer to be in the water. They do. Over Just during the on cold land. time. Yes. So is the water temperature higher? It is. It's a little warmer and also it has a lot more food for them because everything on land kind of dies out, especially here in like Tennessee and Virginia area where they're mostly from. So everything gets cold and freezes off, but in the water, everything still kind of lives. She loves fish and she likes the green vegetation that still lives in the water. So she's able to find food there. Interesting. I definitely feel as though if it was me in the winter time, I would not want to be in the water. Absolutely I'm not. Really not. Built, I'm not really equipped for that. <laughs> no, me so, either. Mm -mm. No, nope, not when there's ice on the ground. <laughs> no, thank you. So we have two different uh, species on the table here. Right. So we have a tortoise and a turtle. Yes. But my understanding is that all tortoises are turtles. 
but not all turtles are tortoises. That is correct. Right. Yes, you got that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we have a few differences between a turtle and a tortoise. The main thing is their shell. A lot of times turtles have the flatter shell. As you can see, she's pretty flat. As you said earlier, it looks like a little bit of a pancake tortoise a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's got that flat shell and that's just easy for her to be able to swim in the water where the current doesn't take her off. She's able to go with that current as well. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of turtles have webbed feet. Her feet aren't as webbed as a lot of turtles are. She does have those long claws and that's because she is very terrestrial as well because she loves to get on the ground to find bugs and all that good stuff to eat also. So she's a decent digger? She's a, see those long, long mm -hmm. nails? Yeah, she's very good at digging. And one thing that's really cool about her as well is that she likes to do a little rain dance. And so she'll sit on the ground and she'll beat the ground as hard as she can mm -hmm. to make it sound like they're rain. And then little worms will come up out of the ground because they think it's raining. And oh, she, she tricks them. Smart. <laughs> yes. So um, does she like manicures as well? Um, no, she gets really mad when it comes to nail trimming time. She mm -hmm. doesn't like that. She mm -hmm. likes her nails long. <laughs> <laughs> we love to have tortoises so people can feel the difference between um, like a tortoise or any other animal, like a snake or anything like that, because mm -hmm. they think all reptiles kind of feel the same. Mm -hmm. And so to let them be able to touch a snake versus a tortoise or any other kind of animal, like we have tin racks and things like that, and it just helps them know you know what these animals feel like because people don't get to see that kind of thing or they don't get to just handle animals every day so are you saying like i'm getting to, to feel the tortoise you here can. Okay. so we do a two finger touch down the back here at the okay. tennessee aquarium so what does she feel like she feels pretty rough mm -hmm. um you know there's definitely uh some texture to it yeah she's got uh, a lot of different stuff going on bony Yes. Yeah, rough. Yeah, so I like just to kind of ease children's minds. But I say smooth, like a, rough. It's like it's a like weird... a rock. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. There's, there's, like there's just texture to it, but it's like it's smooth but rough. Yes. Interesting. And so their shells are made of the same thing as our fingernails, mm -hmm. so they have a keratin in mm -hmm. there, and so that's why it feels very similar to our fingernails. Awesome. And they can feel, if I were to scratch her on her back like this, she can feel my hands and my fingers scratching her. And some tortoises like that. It's they'll, like some of those videos where they'll do Yes, their... <laughs> they like to do a little dance or, mm -hmm. um, when you touch their shells. And so they like that. They can't reach their backs like that. So they like for us to be able to do that for them. Awesome. Yeah. So these, these turtles are absolutely adorable. Um, it almost seems like they'd make great pets, right? Yeah, I get asked that question a lot, but in honesty, like I said earlier, they live to be 70 years, sometimes older than that. Just scientifically, they're around 70 years old. And so you have to think ahead of time. Do I really have the time to take care of this animal? Um, can I commit for long-term care for these animals? They take a lot of work. You have to have certain lights, certain heat. You have to have certain humidity for these animals. And you want to make sure that their enclosure mimics as close to their natural habitat as possible. So it's not like a little puppy or a dog where you can just come in and love it and take it outside to potty, but it takes a lot of effort to take care of these animals. And it's a long-term commitment. Right. And so you have to kind of think about it as do my grandchildren want to take care of these animals as well, because they'll more than likely live longer than me. So you seem very passionate about, about the turtles and I'm assuming the other animals that you get to talk yes. about. So what does, ambassador animal, program animal work mean to you? Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of people who don't get to go out into the world to see these animals. There's a lot of people that don't like going outside or don't have the opportunity to go outside and see these incredible animals. And so it's up to us as educators and these ambassador animals to be able to go out and to share what's out there and how we can protect them and how important it is to make sure that we are keeping our roadways clean and keeping trash away and out of, the, um, out of our water and to make sure that these animals are safe and that they have safe water to drink and able to find their food in their homes. Tanisha, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure uh, to meet you and, and I appreciate you sharing me these yes. beautiful turtles and turtles tortoises. I gotta go now. Okay. But thank you for your time. Yes, thank you for stopping by. Right, thank you.